What's up, everybody? Michael Wilhelm here with two amazing realtors, Stacy Zampa and Mark Hernandez. These are, I think I met you guys at one of the first retreats that I've ever been Nashville, to. baby. Nashville. Nashville. You know what it was? Mm -hmm. You met my better half, Nicole, at Nashville, and I met you all in Miami and then Austin. So, you know, we yes. can go back and, and talk. So you had to send your soldiers out to kind of Fit, fill it out first you and see if it was it safe, and then you came in, right? <laughs> bet you I like the out. chess game, a couple pawn moves first. Soldiers. Soldiers. I was thinking he sent out the captain. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, because right. I call him no, no. the captain instead. Uh, we're of talking soldiers. chess. It's the queen, it's the queen piece <laughs> it's right the there. Queen bee. Listen, she's an amazing queen bee, and she gets to move around, and I get to move one square at a time. So so well, you guys are an amazing team. Thank you. Thank amazing you. couple. So, so let's just, let's just jump into it. You know, this video is just for people who are, you know, either brand new to Compass or just new to networking events. You guys are master networkers and I highly respect just the way that you carry yourselves and the business that, that you all run. So, you know, if, if there was a piece of advice that you could share and either, you know, we'll start with ladies. So Stacy, if there's a piece of advice or a few of your nuggets or tips and tricks that you can just share with, with some of these agents, you know, what would that be? Yeah, thank you. And thank you for asking me to be here today. Couldn't be in better company. Um, so I think I, so Mark, we mentioned that we all met or Mark and I met with Nicole at the first retreat and how that happened was we literally were in the same hotel. We got into the elevator, we started talking and it, we never looked back, right? Complete so, strangers at that point. Complete strangers. <laughs> I think Mark and I had just joined from another company. Um, Nicole also, I think was pretty new and we all kind of just stuck together. So my advice is literally, um, I have a beautiful spreadsheet that gives me all of the events that gives me the things I have to go to. Um, and I have it connected to the tickets and the addresses mm -hmm. and who is throwing the party. Because if in your calendar, you only have an address and you don't know who's throwing the party, um, you know, it just gets very confusing and they're all pretty much at the same time. So I would say, you know, having a great spreadsheet and having it, like I have it linked to Google docs and in those Google docs, I'm holding my tickets. Mm. So if I get there and I can't find my ticket, I don't know where I got it. Cause they're coming from so many different places. I literally just go to my spreadsheet and it's right there. So that's one of my biggest hacks right now. Um, I have some others, but Mark, you go. Mark, what what would you tell the people that are, are you know, when you, when you remember when your first event, you go to it and you're just like, there's so many people, you're overwhelmed. It's like, you know, how, how do I meet people? Who am I going to talk to? Like, what is Mark Hernandez? Because I, I, you work the field. I'd say, I, I'd, I'd say bring breath mints, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or Stacey Zampa breath mints, right? Or have I mean, mints. we're going to be close to people talking to a lot of people, you know, the mouth gets dry. Uh, by the way, where will this video be airing? Is this going to be CNN or Fox? I just need to know how to position um, Netflix. We're doing straight to Netflix. So straight so. streaming we're streaming to live. We're streaming live. I love it. I, you know what? I, I think this is going to be the year where I have become a little more organized like Stacy, uh, and, and I will create a very similar spreadsheet. This will be my, <clears throat> what is this, Stace, our fifth? This is our fifth, yeah. This is our fifth. We started with Nashville, then it was Miami. Then I, I mean, just it's just gone on, right? So um, I can't even remember them all. But, um, you know, I try to... I try to make sure that I attend, you know, as many events with hosts that I know because I want to show up and support. Mm -hmm. And then I also, you know, and I don't necessarily have to stay for the same. I'm very radial. I'm not linear. I, I kind of bounce, right? So if Michael's throwing a party, I'm like there, I'm there for half an hour, boom, I'm making the most of it. And then boom, I'm bouncing over to Stacy's event. And then, you know, oh, I haven't met this agent yet. So boom, then I'm off to that event. So um, I, I, I bring a lot of energy. I rest up at night and I just go, go, go. So um, the other thing that I think is a, one of my little tips and tricks, revealing my little secret here, and not that it's that big of a secret, but I literally take notes on the fly on this thing. 
I remember, you know, it'd be like, I'll be say, I don't know you, Michael. I don't know Stacy. I'm like, you know, we're talking, we're talking. I don't want to forget your name. Right. Don't want to forget Stacy's name. So, you know, I may just disengage for a second. Excuse me. I'll step away. Like I'm checking something on my phone, like a text or something. Mm -hmm. I literally have a notepad that says retreat. And I'm going, Michael Wilhelm, guy with a goatee, mm -hmm. Stacy wearing glasses and a sweater. And literally, but by the end of that event, I've got this list and then I know who I need to start building relationships with, following them. I follow them on LinkedIn. I follow them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'll send them a text. Hey, Michael, it's, it was great meeting you at the retreat. Let's find 15 minutes in the coming weeks to get on a call and talk about each other's markets, talk about each other's businesses. Um, that's what I do. I, I absolutely love that. And, and, you know, speaking of, of mints, just because, you know, we're running around, not <laughs> their teeth. I remember I was at one of the, one of the compass events and, you know, I saw all these mints laying on these chairs. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, you know, let me go grab a mint. You know, these are super convenient. It says Zampa. Who, who is this? Stacy Zampa. And I remember I was just sitting down and, and I was just like, you know, listening in and I talked to my neighbor and I was like, yeah, I got these really cool mints here. And you're like, yeah, those are my mints. And I was like, and I was like, yeah, Stacey. That's right. And that's how you and I connected. But like, that's yeah. such a smart idea to brand yeah. yourself on these mints where everybody's sitting anyway. So nobody has to worry about bringing mints. I am shipping out, literally just shipped I'm, out boxes of them. Um, so those will be there. Uh, I'll be following you around a lot then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. And now I have my team. So we have a lot of mints. Um, and I'm going to take a, a play from your playbook, Mark. So what I like to do, and I know people have the popples and all of that stuff, right? So um, I'm not so fancy, right? I have my phone. Yeah. And what I do is I save myself <clears throat> as a contact in my phone. So here I am, Stacey Zampa, and it gives you all yeah. my information. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. important <clears throat> about this is that you say, you say realtor and you say, Connecticut, right? Because yes. when they can't remember your name, they're going to remember that you were a realtor and they're going to maybe remember you were from Connecticut. So what I do with this is I simply go down to share contacts. I ask them their phone number. Some of them I already have in my phone because if you started early enough at Compass, you have everybody. I text them my information. And then just like you, Mark, in that text right there, all right, you know, great to meet exactly. you from Boston. I need somebody, you know, I loved your Louis Vuitton purse, you <laughs> know, and that's, and that's my notes. And then I, and then I saved the contact right there. And then, so I know who it was that yep. I was talking to. Um, and, and that's how I remember things. I do have to say I am opposite of you, Mark, because I know last year you were bouncing around and you were like, where I are bounce. you? I, I do bounce, but on the, for these things, I would highly recommend you are not having FOMO. You are where you are. You're meant right. to be there. You're meant to yeah. meet the people who are surrounding you. Correct. And even if it's five people, let it be five real new relationships as opposed to a hundred fake ones. Right. Right. So that's my exactly. advice. My you have advice to connect. Is you, right. Although I have the spreadsheet and have been invited to all of these parties, necessarily, if I'm at a party and I'm having a, a conversation, I'm going to stay there. Right. That that's what I would say. Don't feel like you're missing out on anything else. Right. I have to add to that. I, I like and I do the same thing, Stacey. I will text people. I have a what do you call it? What do you call it in your iPhone where it's a, uh, I think it's called, um, shoot, it's a text shortcut. It's a text yeah. shortcut, right? So basically if I write the word SIG for signature in the, in the body of the tech, it'll pull up Mark Hernandez, compass, my cell phone number, my Instagram mm -hmm. handle, all that. And in a, it, without typing all that stuff, I just hit SIG and hit Michael's number or your number and you get my contact information. And I like, do, I like doing what you do and what I do on the spot too, because I mean, everybody has their own thing and everybody's into, like you said, the, the popples mm -hmm. and stuff. So, but the thing about the popple is like, boom, you connect and you, and the, the, the devices connect, but you don't. 
right? Correct. And I then mean, where does it live? I mean, it's like, like a, I, it's, it just, where does it, it just lives in your phone. And it doesn't mean we ever connected via a text. We didn't have a conversation. It's just like saved information and it just gets lost in all the other thousands of contacts you have. Right. So I like how we both engage in the, the, the physical connection while we're there. But then we follow it up with a digital, like you just described. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when we get back, like I said, pick up the phone, make a, you know, get a, get 15 minutes with someone and start building a relationship, add them to their, your newsletter, if they want to be on it, you know, mm -hmm. expand your brand and your relationship and your friendship. So, mm -hmm. so it sounds like it's the, it's the follow-up after the event that that's super important too, because I think know, the follow-up's big, you have a way of this, you know, Mark, you know, I, you have a way of being memorable. I know you bounce around a lot. Like I see you one minute and then you're, I'm like, you text me. You're like, Hey, are you, why aren't you at this party? I'm like, yeah, back to this one, but everybody knows who you are. And so like, what is it that you do, Mark, that that's, that makes you stay memorable is it like you're always wearing black is it the glasses you know what exactly is it about you that people just well i think i think that has something a little something to do. i remember when i was douglas Elliman, i was all about like blue right i had blue sport coats with big plaid you know plaid patterns and i would wear a white shirt i'd have a really nice tie mm -hmm. and then jeans and nice shoes that was my look it was kind of that business kind of that techish mm -hmm. entertainment business casual and and when i came over to compass it just that kind of died and I wanted to lean into the black uh, and white of compass. I, I, I still like to kind of mix it up a little bit. Maybe I need to add some flashes of white here and there. But anyway, in the meantime, it's all black. And, um, but as far as being memorable, I think that, uh, you know, I don't think there's, I think everybody's different, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody has different personalities. My personality is being, as being just me, being genuine, right? being a little self-deprecating, you know, not taking myself self seriously. And look at me, I'm being, you know, I, I got on a call last night with some clients, new, new clients. And they're like, and I was introduced, Hey, it's Mark, you know, this is Mark Hernandez, our team lead. And I got on, they, they go, how are you doing? I go, I'm, I was literally filling up my water bottle. Mm -hmm. And as I was on this call on my AirPods and I go, I'm fine, except for the fact that I'm, I'm filling up my water bottle and water is spilling all over the floor. So right away, they just started laughing, right? Because like you expect it to be this the business person, right? And like, well, I'm your real estate agent, I'm coming in. It's like, you just got to be a little Aaron Brockovich and be kind of like, show your faults. So I try to be genuine, show fault, self-deprecate, notice people, talk about, you know, Michael, I love your shirt. I love your glasses and um, uh, Stacy and, um, and, and try to, for me, my kind of, if, if there's an internal brand, it's trying to be funny or make someone laugh. If I can make someone laugh, they feel good about it. I feel really good about it. I, I, I agree. What about you, Stacey? I, mean, I know other than the, the mints, you know, like I remember, <laughs> I remember our, like, I like, I know you like to go deep and you and I had a moment yeah. in Austin when we just got to connect. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. I felt like in that moment, that we shared together, like I was the only person in your life. And it just, it, I remember that. So like, what is it that you do that, that is just makes you as memorable as you are? Thank you for saying that. So this has been my year of learning to listen. Like, let's just stop right there for a second, because um, we're very much people, I have a lot to say. And even when I don't have a lot to say, I don't shut up. Um, so I'm constantly talking and, um, I get nervous. I talk, I get not nervous. I talk. So, um, you know, I'm listening, I'm reading right now, um, and never split the difference. Right. So a negotiation right. book and, book. um, awesome. and what's resonating with me is, um, when he said in everything, in, in going to a retreat and meeting people in our business, in our friendships, in our family, just really listen. So for that minute that you're talking to somebody, and there's so many people, I'm not gonna name names, but there's so many people we know who, who do this. I'm talking to you, but I just saw somebody walk in and I would love to get in front of them. And I'm like, you know, what are they gonna, even if it's Robert, like, are they gonna walk over? Are they gonna say hello? Am I gonna get my time? But the person I'm standing in front of I am now totally ignoring because my brain has now moved on. You're right. And we Not all good. have ADD. We all have ADHD. We're we all, all get a little distracted. Right. We all get distracted. But this is also, this goes through your, your entire life. Stop it 
and just stay where you are and really listen, actively listen to what I'm saying to you and then repeat it back. That's all you have to do. You know, we know how to mimic each other. We know how to do all that, but do we know how to listen to each other mm -hmm. and ask questions based on what they're saying, not what you're wanting to get out? Like I'm sitting here now, I have things to say. Am I sitting here listening to you or am I sitting here waiting for my turn to talk? I think right. that is so important. And by the way, I'm listening to you right now, but I'm looking at Michael because I don't want him to leave the room without me getting a chance to talk to him. <laughs> no, that, that's, I mean, that just speaks to your character, Stacey, and the fact that you have that awareness. Because I, I know you like Yeah, it, you're very I'm, present, Stacey. I love I that about you. Listen. So I, I appreciate you sharing that. Mark, I know you have something to say, Mark. What, what, what is it that what? you can share with the world? Because this is, I mean, you guys are just dropping knowledge and just, it's amazing. And I know people are going to definitely resonate. Really? We're dropping some, dropping some nuggets here? Absolutely. I'm nuggets of wisdom, some pearls, pearls of wisdom. <laughs> I, well, I, I, well, one thing I want to say is uh, I love dancing, uh, dancing with you, Michael. I mean, I mean, we don't dance, but Michael and I get dance. like, we, we will find a higher, we will find a higher ground. It'll be a little stage or something. And we will just get to, I love to dance. I loved in my, in my past life, I wanted, I would have loved to be someone on stage dancing, rocking, you know, that kind of thing. So when we do these retreats, sometimes the DJ or the band or whoever is really good and Michael and I get on stage, we get a little posse of, of people up there and we just really let it go, right? And we have so much fun uh, and it's just fun getting the rhythm and getting the motion into you because, you know, some of these retreats and i'm not saying compass but some of these corporate events they can be a little stiff Absolutely. right they can be a little yeah. stiff and i think you got to yeah. just kind of let go let out and just be yourself and connect with people through vibration through movement through energy through connection i i, I look, look at these retreats sometimes as opposed to looking at them corporate looking at them more spiritually and uh 100%. that does it for me a hundred percent. And that said, I think you guys know, I, I, I was a hip hop dancer, right? Like, I, I think, you know, yeah, that I know. That. I knew that about you. I, I, so I want to so dance that. with you. I want to dance with you this like? time. Oh, Michael. I, am, I knew that. Yeah. Oh, I knew that. yeah, I can dance. But I, I want but you I to show me say some moves. I, I think for people who are just coming and that are intimidated and overwhelmed because it, it, it is, I think you should remember, I've never thought of it as a business thing. I've always thought of it as fun. And I want to say, and I truly mean this, I don't, what other people think about you is none of your business. Mm. So get out of your own head. Everybody's walking yeah. in the same way. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels the same way, right? So just pick your head up. We're in a company where we love and support each other. Do not be intimidated. Call us, you know, come with us. You know, I remember last year, um, and I, and Mike, I don't know if you remember this, but at some point I lost my driver's license, right. At the retreat. And I didn't want to bother anybody because everybody was having such a good time and getting ready to get dressed. And all of a sudden Nicole called me and she's like, all right, you come in. Like, we're, we're waiting for you. We're down at the, we're down at the rooftop pool and we're waiting for you. And I was like, Nicole, honestly. And she's like, what's the matter? I hear your voice. And I said, Nicole, I lost my American Express and I lost my driver's license and I got to get on a plane tomorrow. I swear to God, within 10 minutes, there were three, four, five girls at my hotel room knocking at the door with food. They left the rooftop bar to come down to help me to find my driver's license and my Amex, which we didn't, but we figured it out. And so to me, it's, it's that person that I want to, I want to connect with. It's not that person that's, oh my God, I'm sorry. You know, I wish you the luck. Like, mm -hmm. let me know when you find it. Mm -hmm. So, so I think yeah, to yeah. find those true friends, those true relationships, get out of your own head, have a good time, be where you are, listen to people, dance your ass off, <laughs> take stupid videos with you and just have fun with this. Right. Right. Absolutely. I got two more, two more that just came to mind, Michael. Yes. Um, you know, the one thing that you, the three of us here have in common, uh, other than being good looking, is uh, 
<laughs> the one thing that the three of us have in common is that we're very well connected. We know a lot of people. We know a lot of people nationally at Compass, right? So we see people, we go to this circle, we go to this and we talk, we get hugs, handshakes and all that. But I got to say, not everybody going to this retreat knows the amount of people that we do. So what kind of knowledge or what kind of mind share can we give to someone who maybe, you know, it, it doesn't know as many people, maybe they're not as extroverted as we are, if I had to give two things to say to those people that are kind of like, I don't know, equalizers or levers or whatever, but they're, they're, they're two, two phrases. The first one is super simple. It's just like, what's your name? What's your name? You know, just ask them what's, what's their name, right? Hey, it's Michael. Hey, I'm just opens it up. It's super easy. It's not that difficult. The second one is, and I've seen some really amazing networkers utilize this one. There'll be a big group of people. They don't know anybody. It's kind of, can be a little bit intimidated. You just kind of walk up. You don't barge in and make people go, who the hell is it? You just kind of meander softly in. You kind of nudge, nudge your way into the group. And you just say, what are you all talking about? Hmm. And someone will very easily go, oh, oh, we're just talking about, you know, whatever the Dodgers getting into the whatever, you know, and, and, and then, Oh, really? And then all of a sudden you're in, it's just easy. What's your name and what are you all talking about? I think those are very helpful yeah. phrases for anyone that wants to just kind of like get themselves into a conversation with one or more people. I, I love it. If they want to be creative too, they can start in with what you're talking about and then what's your name if they want to switch it up too. So there I you go. I love the both of you and I, you guys, just, we love you more. I know you blew people's yeah. minds. So, so I'm going to share this with everybody at the retreat and I'm sure people are going to want to come up to you and talk to you, but just so the people know where you guys are from and what your, where your location is so they can send you all the referrals. You know, Stacy, what is your, your area that you service? So I am a founding Connecticut agent with a um a spotlight on stamford connecticut it's a city um uh that's right on the other side of greenwich uh super close to new york city we're about 50 miles away and that's my focus Very what's nice. stamford known for is there an industry or or a landmark so or something we have that stamford is really WWE, don't tell yes. anybody, but I'm probably right. going to be selling Vince McMahon's house. Don't tell anybody. I won't, um, we won't tell Vince. So there's WWE. There is um, it's a lot of big business here. We're big, big city. So um, oh, Amtrak nice. comes here. Yeah. We're known for our Amtrak. Nice. What can I do? Nice. <laughs> what about you, Mark? Where, where sell, you? sell that house and then body slam Vince for me. <laughs> well done. Oh, wow. I am, uh, again, Mark Hernandez, and I work out of the Beverly Hills office. I cover the greater Los Angeles area. I live in the Hollywood Hills, and I was born and raised in Los Angeles. My son was, and my son is Lennon. He's 11 years 11. old. He was born, I, I was just going through this iteration the other day. He was born in LA at Cedar sinai I was born in, in, in LA. My father was born in LA. So we've got, we, he's no longer with us, but we've had three generations of Angelinos uh born here and it's a city that is very near and dear to me i went to, to the university of southern california here so I, i've been running around this big great city of ours for uh let's say a long time that and is, michael michael yes. where are yes. you from by yeah, the way michael. you all know me San Francisco. it looks like you're in a, you're from fiji I, by I, the I, background right Rica. I, I just got back from a trip from costa rica so Mentally, I'm in Costa Rica, but my area that I service is the San Francisco East Bay. So Oakland, Berkeley, everything East Bay that you need, you know, husband, wife, team or wife and husband, if you talk to Nicole. So, so thank you guys. Beautiful family. Thank, thank you for you having guys us. so much. Like this has been a pleasure. I am just counting down the days when we all get to get together again soon. And we get to just play our Compass theme song, which is Shout. Mark, I expect to speak yes. on stage. <laughs> You a little bit well, louder now. Stacey, a little bit louder. We're gonna right? rock out yeah. together. <laughs> Stace, love you. Michael, love you. I ya. love you guys. Thank you for right. choosing me to be do this. Well, I be well, be good. You. Thank you. All it's right. been an honor. Take care, Peace everyone. Peace out. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.